The explosion of the Chelyabinsk meteor, which nearly hit Russia in 2013, was a viral event captured by dozens of dash cams in the notoriously driver-unfriendly nation. However, the surprise arrival of the extraterrestrial invader and the explosion that followed was no laughing matter. So, today we're going to take a look at a meteorite that narrowly missed Russia in 2013. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History channel. After that, we'd be much obliged if you would leave a comment and let us know what other historic near misses you would like to hear about. Okay, hold on to something because this one is gonna be explosive. Just east of the Ural Mountains, running along the Mias River, is the city of Chelyabinsk. Known as the Gateway to Siberia, Chelyabinsk is an important industrial center with a population of over 1 million people and is the seventh largest city in all of Russia. Those 1 million citizens received the shock of their life, both literally and figuratively, on the morning of February 15, 2013, when a meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded above the city at approximately 9.30 a.m. Even those who didn't witness the meteor entering the atmosphere found it impossible to ignore the space rock's arrival. The light, heat, and the sound of the extraterrestrial traveler caught everyone's attention in the way that only an interstellar explosion can. For some, it was merely a rude wake-up call, but for others, it was a much more serious event. The Chelyabinsk meteor was a mere 20 meters in diameter, about one and a half Greyhound buses, which might make it sound less serious depending on how you feel about buses. But size isn't everything, especially where missiles from space are concerned. In fact, despite its relatively small status, the meteor had a massive impact on the city, even though it never actually struck the Earth. Just how strong was the blast from the Chelyabinsk meteor? Well, the magnitude of its explosion was bigger than a weapon of mass destruction, at least 30 times more powerful than the blast from the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima at the conclusion of World War II. That is a big-ass explosion. Considering the damage caused by the attack on Hiroshima, one can only imagine what devastation would have been wrought if the meteor had actually landed in Chelyabinsk. In all likelihood, had the entirety of the meteor struck instead of just a few meteorite fragments, Chelyabinsk would have been erased from the globe, like a hastily photoshopped atlas. Although the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded before it could hit Earth, it was a nail-biting near-miss. How near? Well, scientists believe the meteor exploded less than 20 miles above Chelyabinsk, raining down smaller meteorites across the area. That's, uh, not very far. That's the distance between two Walmart locations. In the realm of astrophysics, where interstellar objects regularly travel many millions of miles during their cosmic journeys, a difference of 20 miles is virtually insignificant. The Chelyabinsk meteor came about as close as possible without landing a direct hit, making it an incredibly close call. It's lucky that the Chelyabinsk meteor detonated 20 miles above the surface, because if it actually had struck the city, the results would have been extremely deadly. With the meteor's 20-meter diameter and speed of over 33,000 miles per hour, it would have all but destroyed Chelyabinsk. Based on a number of scientific models, researchers believe that the loss of life would have approached somewhere in the neighborhood of a million people or more, all gone in a literal flash. Movies like Michael Bay's Armageddon have given some people the idea that if a meteor or asteroid were on a collision course with Earth, scientists would be able to see it coming. They would then dispatch Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck to blow it out of the sky before any real damage could be done and we'd all celebrate by listening to Aerosmith. But as usual, the movies didn't really get it right. Scientists have long warned that meteorite impacts, or even those from larger asteroids, could happen pretty much anywhere at any time without much warning. That's not terribly comforting, and it's precisely what occurred in Chelyabinsk. In fact, the reason the arrival and explosion of the Chelyabinsk meteor was so surprising to the residents of the city and the surrounding areas was specifically because it was virtually impossible to see coming. Because of the meteor's orbit, it approached Earth from the direction of the sun. You can't even see the TV when the sun is in your eyes, let alone a celestial object hundreds of thousands of miles away. Combined with the meteor's small size, there was no way astronomers could see it until it was too late. 
The first thing the citizens of Chelyabinsk noticed about the meteor was its extreme brightness. Just before it exploded, the space rock lit up the morning sky with an enormous flash, like Motley Crue was about to take the stage. The meteor's fireball was approximately 30 times brighter than the sun, which for reference is really bright. So much so that it can actually damage your vision. Don't look at the sun. And that's not hypothetical. It actually happened. The flash caused temporary blindness in a number of observers, as well as inflicting both retinal and skin burns to those exposed. One woman even had skin burned off her face like a cosmic radiation chemical peel from a meteor that detonated a full 20 miles above the ground. The explosion of the Chelyabinsk meteor was awe-inspiring, but what followed was downright frightening. The sonic wave caused by the blast hammered the city of Chelyabinsk, shattering countless windows and causing serious structural damage in many buildings. The meteor caused more than $33 million worth of property damage. One factory's roof even collapsed from the blast. Thankfully, no deaths were reported, but over a thousand people were injured in the incident, most from flying glass or falling debris. It was kind of like the end of a superhero movie, only it's not likely to become a ride at Disneyland anytime soon. The blast from the Chelyabinsk meteor's explosion shattered windows and collapsed buildings, but that was just its local impact. For although the meteor may have missed Earth by 20 miles, people around the world felt its effects. In fact, the force from the blast was so powerful that it was registered by a nuclear monitoring system as far away as Antarctica. The Chelyabinsk meteor was not Russia's first encounter with a nearly deadly meteor. It was more like one of those sequels that comes decades after the original movie. Like the Top Gun Maverick of celestial events. The first encounter occurred on the morning of June 30th, 1908 when a powerful explosion struck near the Podkamenya Tunguska River in the area that is now Krasnoyarsky Krai, Siberia. Scientists estimated that the blast was more powerful than 15 megatons of TNT. That's a lot of Acme orders. The explosion flattened over 770 square miles of forest. The Tunguska event, as it's known in pop culture, is believed to be the largest impact event in recorded history. They even reference it in Ghostbusters. However, it is worth noting that despite being classified as an impact event, no impact crater has ever been discovered. Right now, the leading theory speculates that a meteor burst over the area, similar to what occurred in Chelyabinsk. The explosion would easily have been capable of destroying a densely inhabited major metropolitan area. Luckily, thanks to Siberia's sparse population, no fatal injuries were ever reported. Interestingly, Chelyabinsk meteor wasn't even the Chelyabinsk region's first brush with meteors. That would be the Kunashak meteor shower of 1949, during which at least 20 meteorites weighing a combined total of 200 kilograms rained down on the area. That event didn't do nearly as much damage as the 2013 event, but it was also accompanied by a terrifying sonic boom. So you know the neighborhood dogs didn't stop barking for at least three hours. The Chelyabinsk meteor may not have been a household name in every part of the world, but it sure did get internet famous. Almost immediately after the event occurred, the meteor became a viral sensation. With dozens of videos popping up on YouTube and other social media outlets shortly after the explosion occurred, you might say its rise to fame was nothing short of meteoric. The video showed a massive ball of fire streaking right across the sky, followed several minutes later by an ear-splitting boom. But why were so many Russians filming the sky that February morning? Were legions of Russians expecting a meteor to hit Chelyabinsk? Did somebody have rubles riding on it? No, they were actually paying attention to a much more earthbound situation. You see, Russia has a major issue with road rage and insurance fraud which has led to the widespread proliferation of dashboard cameras in Russian vehicles. Because there were so many dash cams on the roads of Chelyabinsk during the explosion, the blast was captured from a number of angles. Those videos of the meteor were quickly uploaded to YouTube, and the unique astronomical incident went viral around the world. Despite what ancient aliens would have you believe, the Earth is not exactly swimming in extraterrestrial life or objects. So meteorites, 
which is what we call meteors or meteor fragments that actually make it to the Earth's surface, offer a rare opportunity for scientists to conduct research on extraterrestrial objects. When the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded, it produced a cloud of dust and gas, as well as many smaller meteorite fragments. These fragments drew the attention of several groups of meteorite hunters. They quickly descended on the city and its surrounding areas in the wake of the explosion in an effort to track down any and all meteorite fragments that may have made it to the Earth. Hopefully, they were all dressed like old-timey prospectors. It wasn't a competition, but the winners turned out to be divers, who discovered the largest fragments more than 50 miles north of the city, beneath a frozen lake. The destructive capabilities of the Chelyabinsk meteor was a serious wake-up call to the world. For a number of reasons, its arrival proved to be an important moment in the way the scientific community looks at meteorite strikes. After all, if a meteor exploding 20 miles above a city could cause such damage, one that actually strikes Earth would obviously be infinitely more devastating. We now know that even a near miss, in which a meteor explodes after hitting the atmosphere, could have catastrophic consequences if the object were large enough. Suddenly, people became acutely aware of the multitude of unseen potential threats hurtling through space, and of our readiness to deter such threats, which is pretty much non-existent. Nobody saw the Chelyabinsk meteor coming, so it stands to reason that we may not be aware of other potentially deadly objects currently on a collision course with our planet. Now in truth, astronomers are typically able to detect threats like meteors, asteroids, and hopefully, alien invasions. But since the Chelyabinsk meteor explosion, developing the technology they need to do the job right has become a major priority. After all, Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck won't always be around to save us. So what do you think? Do you remember when the Chelyabinsk meteor narrowly missed the planet? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from our weird history.